YouTube channel my name is Mala um, as she's still getting ready and this is the Moralities we're so happy for you to join us again for those of you who are joining us for the first time welcome to the TBC gang it stands for that vendor couple um, and for those of you who are returning thank you guys so much we really do appreciate the love and support you guys gave us on our previous vlog having been away for so long you do get a bit nervous sometimes to come back but it really means a lot to us that you guys showed up and yeah so i just wanted to come on here and open the vlog i don't have anything to say really um today we want to go have brunch at the pantry um the pantry by jameli so i used to think there was only one pantry pantry here in danefern but now I'm learning there's a pantry by Jamelli in Bryanston. Then there's a pantry by Marble in Rosebank, I think. So I've always wanted to try it. They do all day breakfasts and Mash loves breakfast. Like that's his favorite meal of the day. He can eat breakfast for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, so we're gonna go do that now. Um, but anyway, what else did I wanna say? Um, I think that's it guys thank you guys for the support enjoy the vlog and if you haven't please don't forget to like comment and subscribe so we can grow our little community we're so excited soon we're gonna hit 4,000 subscribers which is a big deal to us because guys we're still new in this we're still learning taking it one day at a time but yeah so enjoy and yeah Love you guys. Bye. The breakfast went over so good. Breakfast by number two. Hey guys, so we have a delivery from Superbulist. Um, it's for so our entryway. As you can see, we have a double volume entryway. So we have this part. We can see you, love. <laughs> and then we have this part. And then we have here. So there's still a lot of furnishing to do. But we got a bench for here. Mesh wants to do like pictures on this wall. And um, a bench. So let's just see what that looks like.
they all disappear. Are you that tired that you're just deciding to lie on the floor? The back. <laughs> the back is not really. <laughs> Yeah, my feet are also very sore. And the hunger. There's a lot going on. I agree. So, I just got back from shopping for kitchen stuff this week. Um, I just want to quickly show you how gorgeous this bread bin is that I got. Okay. This is from At Home. It's got really nice detailing. I think it's so stunning. I actually don't know if you can see that. Then I went to Mr. Price home and I just got these bowls. I'm actually looking for the clear ones, but I can't find them. I'm looking for the clear version of this, but I think these look, I love like this design. It's like Asian bowls. She eat like rice and stuff in. I got these which was really nice then I went to Pep Home mm, Pep Home I got these baskets so these baskets are really nice because I'm going to use them inside our drawers in the bathroom I'll show you um, they sold individually so I think I put six of these because our our main bathroom drawers are really really big so those really help Oh, I think I bought more than six. Yeah, it looks like I bought seven, I think. Then, I just went and I... So, I'm still working on my fridge. If I get a chance, I can show you guys. I bought some stuff. I had bought this last time, but I used it in my pantry. I think I used it incorrectly. Oh, but it says fridge and pantry bin, yeah. And then these are just for the veggies. Um... I'm sure you've seen these making their rounds on YouTube. But we're not even sure if this thing is focusing. I can't see well. I bought a measuring. I have plastic ones, but I just really wanted a glass one. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Um, this is all from Pip Home. I have one of these for my pantry. But I just thought, let me get one for my fridge. So guys, the one thing I've noticed is that, like, there's similar stuff at, at home. But it's like, triple the price, obviously. And sometimes, like, for example, this one, like, it was on sale for 40 Rand, right? I went to at home first, and at home it was 129 Rand. And this is something, for example, like, I can put jam in... I don't need a container for 129 right to put jam inside. Do you know what I'm saying? And these are like for like small sometimes you have like small gravies left behind. And this this is a nice size. So let me get that. Okay, maybe I'm just gonna pass the stuff to me. Nicola. Huh? No, 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 no. No, you know I don't like that the flavor. Come but I have the glass containers from Venom. It's just I'm so hungry. I'm saying that too, la. Um what do I have this morning? That energy bar and a scone. That's all I had. Love you more because it was really sound. That's all I had today. Can you believe it? That is it. And then I bought these really nice glass containers also from Pip Home. I actually think I'm going to put the jam in here. Oh my gosh. This was at, at home. At home, I think this is also 129 rand if I'm not mistaken. Here I bought it for 50. If you can check. So, I've learned my lesson. Before I used to just go to one store, I was an at-home girl. And then I started watching people on YouTube. And people are saving so much money. And then you're like, mm, 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 mm. The math is not mathing. This one, also from Pep Home. I got it for 80 Rand. 
um, I saw this at at home for 249 rand. So the only difference was the lid. It was wooden, but it was a bit different. But like I said, you know, honestly, I feel like you have to pick your battles. I got the bread bin from at home. These are like storage containers. Do you know what I'm saying? They don't need to be 200 rand for each when you can get them for a fraction of the price. I want to show you, I don't know if Mesh wants to show you himself, but what he's going to be doing for our um, entryway, um, together with the, what's it called, the bench. Hey, let me, let me just show them one frame. So, Mesh has this vision, well, it's kind of like my vision, that's his vision now. <laughs> We got these black frames. I'm sure you've seen, you saw the clip of the um, the bench. It's black and brown. So that part of the entryway, I wanted to be black and brown. That's the vision. So we got nine of these. We're getting the photos printed, and we'll Mesh will show you when he installs them. It's gonna look really really nice. These are from Mr. Price. Guys, this is why I have not convinced Mr. Price is the cheapest store. This is 169 rand at Mr. Price. When I went to at home, they had this for 149 rand, but they didn't have the black. But that's what I'm saying, right? 149 rand at Mr. at at home, but the problem is they didn't have it in black and they didn't have the number that I wanted. But I'm just saying, like I've just I've come to this realization that every store has things that are more affordable than another store and i used to think mash used to really believe like everything has to come from mr price home and i'm like sir we're not doing that here not here okay and you realize you save like at every store you just need to know how to find what you're looking for and also like just look around like i used to just be a one-trip pony i was an at-home girl Mesh was a Mr. Price home guy, but when you start to shop around, you're able to realize like, mm, this is more expensive here, you know, this is more expensive here, and you're able to like save, even if it's like a few hundred bucks here and there, it makes a difference. Um, okay, cool. What else do I want to show you guys? I'll show you guys these pots that I got from at home. Okay. Um... The brand is actually very, it's called Hayden. Apparently it's a British brand. So the reason why I chose them was because I have this obsession with caraway, what's it called? Caraway or caraway pots from America. But that set you can't get in South Africa and it costs like 30,000. Um, I'm just not willing to pay 30,000 for something that I haven't seen physically. So, at home in collaboration with hayden did a similar version of those pots so i'm going to show you guys what they look like i think they're very pretty i can't give you a review yet because i haven't used them but i got them off their website because it is cheaper than buying them in store they were having a sale on their website so let me quickly show you that so we better stick together let's come I think they're really pretty. Um, yeah, I'm clearly not opening it how it's supposed to be opened. This is the saucepan. Also really pretty. Okay guys, so my battery died. I'm just quickly going to show you what the pots look like. I think they're very pretty. And yeah, I'll give you a review once I use them. I can't tell you now. Fun.
wanna be riding on my way Finally woke up with some luck in the buck I don't give up what someone, someone say Finally got my friends in the back on my roller We gon' make it big one day We gon' make it big, I say We gon' make it big, just stay in the Stay in the moon Stay in the moon with me See it in your eyes when we leave for the night Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind Let the flame burn down for a while Let the flame blur out for a while Stay in the moon Stay in the moon with me Give you a moment time. Give you a moment with me Smell all the roses Smell all the roses with me Hey guys, so today is, uh, is a Tuesday, um, so I'm about to hang uh, the photo frames today, so I'm standing just right next door, next to our main door, so I'm going to be hanging nine photo frames here just behind me, um, so yeah, let's see how it, uh, it comes out, you know, so hopefully I get everything straight, everything looking good, so stick around to see how this one goes. We only need the two of us together. Gentlemen, you can't have juice. No, I can't. I drink coffee. Yeah. Keeping you hydrated as you do the work of the Lord. I'm very nervous to hang it. Why? If it's not in the right place, it's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's in the right place. I don't know, you don't think so? No, it's in the right place. But I don't dare to, I'm too fragile, and for that I do apologize. Maybe someday. Hi guys, so we just got a cleaning company to come and clean our uh, our couch. It was looking a bit dirty. Sorry, I forgot to take clips of how it looked before, but I do have some pictures. Um, and I also forgot to take uh, a video of how the mat actually looks before. Um, it's to be cleaned, you know, just for you guys to see how dirty it was um, But nonetheless, they just collected the mat um, So that the rug right now um, So they're going to take it back to Their factory for cleaning apparently they use like this Automatic machine, which is quite cool um, So at least we know that it will come back dry. So they just collected the mat now and um, Yeah, I will show you some videos once they deliver the mat back after it's been cleaned um, so that you guys can see the work that they've done all right cheers we can work it out but i'm afraid it's too late to try baby i don't dare to love you and you know the reason why don't you know i'm way too weak to swim can't you feel the waves come crashing in running out of safety nets cause i'm yeah, so guys you can see this couch just got cleaned and you can see that these lines here are appearing after they just finished vacuuming which is bothering me quite a little bit but I've been promised that they're going to dry over time and the couch will come back to its uh, former glory but let's see how it goes right now I'm not really trusting of, of the process um, but we'll see 
you know hopefully it doesn't leave like strange marks when it dries because we once hired this company to clean one of our chairs and after it started drying it left like brown marks here on the edges uh, there were brown marks here on the edges right now on the camera it looks like there's a little bit of a dark composition there but when you look at it from the eye perspective it's now there's nothing really um, the couch looks very clean but yeah let's see how it dries out and let's see if these guys are good at what they do or not or else I'm ready to complain So the mat has arrived as you can see um, probably have to unwrap it to see how good of a job they did they even spelled my name wrong I don't know why but yeah I don't even know why they folded this rug to be honest because now it's just going to have bubbles that's what they call it so yeah we'll see good morning guys so Mesh is actually having a bride today with some of his friends um, I have a lot of errands to run but I did say I would marinate the meat for him so I quickly want to do that and then I'm gonna go do my nails and wax my eyebrows I have so much work to do like work work um, there's some stuff that I'm working on that I have to do today's a Saturday but I have to work because um, yeah there's stuff that I have to do, there are policies that I have to review, policies that I have to work on. Um, those of you who don't know, I am a medical doctor by profession and I ventured into corporate medicine. So I no longer work in the hospital, I don't work in a clinical space, I work in the corporate space of medicine, which is really, really nice and really, really exciting. And it's always been like my passion and stuff. So yeah, so let's quickly marinate this meat so that i can go take care of myself y'all okay i was like even if i'm working today i am still gonna go do my nails and feel pretty and yeah okay guys so let's quickly do that i love this hair the quality is just so good and i've had it for so long i've had it for like ever but honestly the quality is just so so good so yeah anyway let me not get distracted my battery is beeping i'm gonna quickly mash is out actually he went to get stuff for his bride so i want to like be done so that when his friends come over like i'm not around okay i just want to be upstairs i want to be watching tv you know upstairs and like working in my little space so i want to give them you know room and freedom though i could watch tv downstairs but i just i need to work also so i don't want to be like distracted and stuff like that and also it's like a boys thing which i think is nice i think mash needs this he's been wanting to do this for a while and 
you know, uh, all the guys he invited today are his friends that managed to come to the funeral and vendor, which was really, really nice. So he just wanted to host them. Hey guys, so the battery died and because I didn't have much time, I started uh, marinating the meat. Let me just show you what I've done. Ooh. Let me show you what I've done so far. Actually, I haven't done that much. My hair looks a mess now because I've been running around. Okay, so I just did the chicken marinade. I used quite a bit of ingredients, honestly. Um, so now I'm gonna do the lamb and the beef. And then that's that. for him marinated everything I hope it tastes decent honestly so this is it and I am going to get ready and go do my nails his friends are arriving now so Look at me doing wifey things. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so proud of you. As we get it right. doing a voiceover because uh, we actually lost all our pantry reorganization footage between changing cameras and um, exporting to a hard drive yeah we had tons of footage of all the organization but we lost it so I'm only gonna show you this little clip of before and the grand reveal which is after it took so many hours like actually a few days to do this but I'm sorry, I just wanted you guys to see what it looked like um, because I promised to show you 
and yeah thank you guys so much for watching we appreciate you tvc gang lots of love Fire star.